Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify a Gotek drive adding a rotary encoder. You can buy rotary encoders on many places. I bought mine on Amazon. The tools that I'm going to use are a screwdriver, a drill, 3 and 7 mm drill bits, soldering iron and solder, jumper block and 4 wires. The Gotek drive is a floppy drive emulator and physically is quite similar to a floppy drive, especially in terms of size and type of connectors. On the front, instead of the typical opening for floppy disks, there's a new USB port for inserting a pen drive. This drive has an OLED display and two buttons to go through the list of software stored on the pen drive. The rotary encoder is going to be installed next to the buttons and will be used to scroll through the list of software. I bought my Gotek drive at the Mega store, but there are cheaper options. Just have a look to eBay or AliExpress. So, let's open the Gotek and remove the board from the case. I'm going to add a jumper block here to connect the wires from the rotary encoder, but you can solder directly on the board. This mod is applicable to this Gotek revision. Then, let's prepare the jumper wires to solder into the rotary cord. Now, let's solder the wires to the rotary encoder according to this diagram. Next, I'm going to drill a hole on the case and place the rotary encoder. Now, we just need to connect the wires to the correct jumpers according to the diagram. After some cable management, let's close the case. Now 
Now let's connect the GoTek to my Amiga 500 and test if it works. And there you have it. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Until the next video.